What is up, y'all? It is Black and White Country here again with another video. And uh, today I'm going to be uh, telling y'all a little bit about this grinder. But uh, first off, I thought y'all might find this interesting. I was uh, speaking of this grinder, I was doing a job over in Winder, tearing down a demo on a little pedestrian bridge. And I ran out of seven inch wheels because I was cutting that real deep grating. And you, you, one of these just won't cut it. It won't cut all the way through it unless you got a brand new wheel. And then on the second one, you're fucked. So you need the sevens. I have my seven inch grinder. Y'all know about it. Y'all seen it. I ran out of seven inch wheels. The only place that carries the thin ones, like the 045s, like these are the 16th, is Home Depot or Lowe's. I went by the Ace. Ace does not have the best selection of stuff but they had these dewalts these are actually for a skill saw i say skill saw it's a circular saw you know and it said it shows it right there and these are seven inch by one eighth for a five eighths arbor so they'll fit on this technically they're not supposed to but they will not on this grinder obviously but you know and they're uh RPM rated too. They'll handle the RPMs. I just thought that was a little interesting. They don't cut as quick, but they work good. And they make good good uh gouging wheels. Gouging out a weld. Gouging out a crack. But this grinder is my 13 amp Makita. And it is a beast. This grinder it has got to be my favorite grinder by far because I changed one thing about it, but I'll get to that. This grinder has got the power. You know, you are not stalling this grinder out. It's 13 amp. It's got way more power than my 6. It's got almost as much power as my 15. You know, it is incredibly ergonomic and incredibly smooth. It is, it's not too, it's not light, you know, but it's not heavy. It's, it's got a good balance. It's very easy to hold on to and do stuff with. But this grinder, the only thing I'd change about it is that I'd probably, I'm probably going to end up also buying the 13 amp 6 inch grinder. And I'll tell you why. When you run down one of these, one of these 7 inch wheels, Generally, what I like to do is put is uh, when you run them down, when you run a seven inch wheel down into a four inch, four and a half inch wheel, you put it on the four and a half inch grinder. You know, seems easy enough, but a lot of times when you run down a seven, it's and it's too small to get to anything once it's on the on on the seven inch grinder because the seven inch grinder has that big head on it. It's still too big to fit inside the guard of the four and a half inch grinder. So I'd probably get a six so that I could fit because the wheel might be five and a half inches. You know, it's too small to do anything with this on the seven inch grinder, but it'll still do some stuff on this grinder. But it's too big to fit on there. And it's just you get stuck with all these oddball wheels you ain't never going to use. And that's why I go for the six. This grinder is great because it's got variable speed control on it. And it'll go 2,800 RPMs, 4,000, 6,500, 9,000, and 10,500. So you can, you know, you can do a lot of stuff, you know, stainless steel, you know, real smooth and steady with a sand and disc. You can really do pretty much anything with this. You gotta press on it real hard to bind it out. It's got a very long strain relief on it. And um this grinder is real nice because it's got that like that uh I don't know if the SJS is that thing or if it's something else, but they got some sort of like anti-bind technology that it'll like uh it'll let it slip if you get it in a bind, too bad of a bind, it won't come out at you. Of course, when you're working with a wire wheel. All that shit goes out the window, but 
this grinder i fed this grinder a hot hot supper and uh on that um on that bridge demo job and it took it like a champ i mean this was this grinder was all about it on that job and it's one of those things that i really don't know where i would have been without it because i used it i mean fuck i was prepping paint i was prepping the paint on that job and i still used it on a on a wire wheel you know getting off that old oil based paint it's real hard to get off and you know this thing is it's got a good enough balance that you can you can run it across your metal and you can hold it right here you know flip that dead man switch on and you can run it just like that and this is also another reason why i love makitas is because these makitas i, I don't like i'm not a fan of the paddle i don't like having to hold on to the paddle switch i want to i want to flip that switch and do what i'm going to do do it one-handed you know do whatever i'm going to do you know yes they can be dangerous but generally the only time that that's going to be a danger is with a um is is generally the only time that's really going to be an issue is with a is with a wire wheel because a wire wheel will bind up and catch in your shirt and that's happened to me before and they will tear you to pieces but yeah i really i really can't say uh can't say enough good about this grinder it is on the expensive side for a grinder even for a high-end one at home depot i think i paid about 160 bucks for it but you know i'm a welder so in my opinion it's worth every penny and you can never have too many grinders but um you know, this is just a short little video for y'all. Let y'all know what I really feel about this grinder. I, you know, I did my first impressions of it, and it seemed all right. But this grinder has really stood up to the to the test of time. And I've, I mean, I know it don't look like it doesn't look like I've used it a lot, but I mean, I've used this thing, you know, almost every day since I bought it. So do the math, and you know. It is, it's like I said, you know, if you're going to buy a grinder, don't go cheap because this is what happens. Get one of these and you'll thank yourself later. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'll talk to y'all later.